Now, we are trying to look at a situation where you have your DVR set up, you've connected it to the internet, you have your network cable plugged in, and you still can't access it over the internet, as in maybe from the app on your smartphone, maybe from your computer through your web browser. Now, when you have that situation, the first thing you need to check is the network setting on your DVR. You're going to check the network status on your DVR to see if it has proper internet connectivity. To do that, you run into the main menu. Once you get there, you should have an icon that looks like the letter I, or I'll say an exclamation sign that is flipped outside, upside down. So that's the info menu. It's not written there, but it's just this icon. Once you click on it, now, on the left hand side, you click on version. Once you click on version, on the right hand side, this is where you're going to notice a network status. It says net status. Now, if your network settings are properly configured and your DVR is, is receiving proper internet connectivity, it should read connected. Now, if it doesn't read connected, it will either read connecting or probing DNS or not enabled or anything of that sort. But if it reads anything other than connected, then you have to check out two more things. The first thing you check out, you go into the back of your DVR where you have the network cable connected. This is where your, your ethernet cord should come in. Once it slots in here, you should have some kind of green light coming off here and some kind of yellow or I'll say amber colored light coming out from here. So if you don't have those lights, you have to check with your network router to make sure the cable is properly seated. Or you probably need a different network cable altogether. But once you have that light coming off, the next thing you do is you check the DVR. First of all, check the main menu. Once you get into the main menu, you have network setting. You click on network setting. On the left hand side, make sure you're on network. And then on the right hand side, you have LAN. So you click on LAN, and there is a line here that says DHCP enable. Now make sure it is toggled into green color. Once you do that, you hit apply. Once you hit apply, you can quit the main menu and you have to restart your DVR. To do that, you right click, you click on logout, then you select reboot. Once you select reboot, you click on OK. Once you click on OK, the DVR is going to shut down and it's to start back on its own. Once it comes back on, you wait for about 5 to 10 minutes. Your network router and your DVR might need some time to talk to each other. And once that happens, you go back into the main menu to check your network status. Once you get into the main menu, you go back into this info menu. You go to version, and where it says net status, it should read connected this time. If it still doesn't read connected, it's possible your DVR has been set up for manual IP address assigning, so you have to manually assign the IP address. But in most cases, you won't have to do that. It should read connected by now. Once it read connected, you can get back into your smartphone app or onto your PC's web browser and try to access the DVR remotely again. And this time around, it should probably come through. So thank you for watching. If there's anything, feel free to reach us. Thank you.